Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakak, but us, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, his son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honours to the elder apostles of great most that taught this truth and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. The very few brothers and sisters listening and learning in hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be called Wisdom, which is the work of all things taught me. All right. We're going to start with Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 22. For wisdom, okay, which is the work of all. So everything we see around, everything we see around us is manifested through wisdom, everything, okay, from the trees to the herbs, okay, to elements, worker is the wisdom of all these things, to wind, to hot, to cold, wisdom is the worker of all these things, to deep, to up, to down, wisdom is the worker of all these things, taught me. For in her is understanding. So through wisdom, what do we gain? The scripture says, with all that wisdom, we gain understanding. Spirit. An uh, understanding spirit. Because the only way one can apply wisdom is through having understanding of the knowledge that he's been taught. Alright? With, without it, it's just knowledge of something. To know. You know of something. But wisdom is the application of that knowledge which is practical holy holy means separate okay one only manifold okay because it says one and only because there's not many ways to get to Yahweh Shai there's one right there's one way there's not that a Buddhist would say, yeah, there's 20 different ways to get to the... No, there's one way. One only, manifold, subtle. So wisdom teaches us how to be what? Subtle. <laughs> Lively. And that's why, again, the scriptures talk about what? It's the spirit that quickened the flame. Just a minute. That's why the scripture says it's the spirit that quickened it. Holy one only manifold, subtle, lively, clear. Okay, straight to the point. Very clear. Undefiled. Because the scripture says, the hope for that they were not going to be defiled with. When you go to Revelations 14 and 4. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women. For they are virgins. So they would be undefiled. Right? These are they which follow the lamb, Yahweh Shai, whithsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High, and to the Lamb. Right? And those same individuals, they're back here again today. They're not defiled with any philosophy, whether it be Christianity, whether it be um, Sikhism, whatever it may be. Plain. Not subject to hurts. Okay. Not, it's not, not easily hurt. Okay. Not subject to hurt. Because it's wisdom. What does it do? It gives comfort. It brings comfort. Okay. Loving the thing that is good. Quick. Which cannot be let it. Cannot be sold. Cannot be bought and it cannot be sold. Ready to do good. Okay. So when you have that spirit, you're ready to do good. You're ready to what to serve. Kind to man. And these are basically fruits of the spirit as well. It says steadfast, okay, firm in what we believe, not double-minded, sure, all right? So you, we were going to be sure of what we were taught. We wasn't going to be saying, I wasn't going to be saying in one video, Yahab Aishim, Yahab Shai, then the next video, in the name of Jesus Christ, that's someone that's not sure, that's someone that's not grounded, right? I wasn't going to be saying black, we're, we're black people, that's someone that's not sure, Free from care. 
And when you have trust, when you have faith in Yahweh Shai, it makes us what? Free from care. When you have wisdom, it makes you free from care. Because you understand all things, having all power, overseeing all things. Okay? Going through, all understanding, pure, most subtle spirits. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Right? And the scripture, scriptures do say the spirit is like the wind. Okay. She passes and going through all things by reason of her pureness. So when it says she passes and going through all things by her pureness, wisdom is also what a trail of what the reigns. Right? For she is the breath of the power of the most high and pure influence. So wisdom, the right wisdom on the right hand side has an influence flowing from the glory. Of the Almighty, so even wisdom, it can influence us whether it's on the right hand, whether it's on the left hand. For she is the brightness of the overlast, everlasting, right? And the scriptures do tell us what wisdom maketh for man's face to shine, but unspotted mirror reflection of the power of the Most High, in other words, without blemish and the image of his goodness and being but one, right? And it says the image of his. Goodness, because when we talk about wisdom, you have to mention Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is wisdom, and being but one, she can do all things. And we're not saying Yahweh Shai is a woman, but because wisdom is again, wisdom is known as what Yahweh Shai, and wisdom is also known as Sophia. Okay, but being but one, she do can do all things and remain in herself. She make of all things new. All right, and in all ages, okay. Entering into holy souls, all ages. Excuse me. So with different empires, you had particular men that were what had great wisdom. In all ages and all empires, she maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets. Okay, key thing. She maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets, because they were going to be the ones that were attained and that were giving wisdom. And when you go to John. 15 and 14 that keyword friends of the most high and prophets go to John 15 this is John 15 and 14 you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you right so if you're doing what Yahweh Shai commands you why that's because what you are applying wisdom you've been given that wisdom right and part of that command was feeding the sheep and walking in the ways of Yahweh Yahushai. And the scriptures tell us in Deuteronomy 4 and 6. This is your wisdom amongst the nations. Which is what the laws. And statutes. The precepts. Right. Henceforth I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth what, not what his lords do. If you don't tell your servant your business. Because he's just a servant. You've hired him just to do a job. Clean up the yard or whatever. And that's it. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. And you only tell a friend you can trust your secrets. Right? Only someone you trust. You're not going to tell your servant. You're not going to tell your servant your business. Excuse me. So now we went into that. So let's go to one thing at a time. Was you wisdom of Solomon? You're on wisdom of Solomon seven and twenty-eight. For the most I love none but him that dwelleth with wisdom, right? For she is more beautiful than the sun, and above all the order of stars being compared with the light, she is found before it. For after this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. There's no vice that's going to prevail. Against wisdom, no wickedness that's going to prevail against wisdom, true wisdom of the scriptures. Okay, so is there anything else? Is there anything else? Maybe just a minute. So now we've got Proverbs 18 and yes, Proverbs 18. <laughs> And one. So it says, 
though a dull true desire okay having separated himself so separate to be separate from this word means you're holy okay through desire a man have having separated himself the lord ain't dealing with the broad path where everybody's in that broad gate seeketh another word for seeketh for search inquireth and intermeddleth interfere with all wisdom all right a fool have no delight in understanding so if a fool someone that's silly will not delight in any any type of understanding about his heart but that his heart may discover it itself all right someone that's he's preoccupied on his own understanding what he was taught what he thinks right all right when the wicked cometh rain cometh also contempt okay and with ignominy and reproach the words of a man's mouth are as a deep waters right very deep waters okay and wellspring of wisdom as a flowing excuse me got the hiccups as a flowing brook so a man that has wisdom won't be as deep waters right an abundance and is a wellspring okay of wisdom as a flowing brook okay constantly what flowing you know learning new things all right so and something bear me just a minute because when we read this scripture proverbs 18 it says having separated himself okay and what are we separating ourselves from the ungodly those that don't want to repent those that want to remain in sin i quickly want to go to hebrews 7 and 26 for such and the high priest became us you have to show you who is holy harmless undefiled separate from sinners so even Yahusha was separate from sinners. Those that were not receiving him. Because he was he came to sinners. So who were the uh, sinners he was separate from? And why was he separate from sinners? Because he was perfect. He didn't go off. And made higher than the heavens. So Lord does deal with a lot of separation. Men are not teaching you that in this truth as well. That's another thing. Men are teaching you. Now you've got to be with us. Mm-hmm. If you're, if you're not with us, you're a demon, you're a castaway. That's what men are teaching you. Uh -huh. You know? Which is completely off. Okay. So now, I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes 21 and 13. Papa Kasha. Okay. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. So what happens when something abounds? Increases. It overflows. Alright? Type in that word abound. Bound to be in great plenty, abundant, from Latin, abande, overflow, run over. And what's it, Psalms 24, I believe when, what's it, King David said, he maketh my cup to runneth over. So yes, the knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, continually coming up with new things, new things to speak about, new topics. Never run out of ideas, because the word is, is constant. And his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. Okay. The Lord, he doesn't run out of... There's always counsel. Scriptures, constant counsel in these scriptures. Okay. His counsel is like a pure fountain of life. All right. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. Okay. And he will hold no knowledge. So if you have a broken vessel, you put some water into it, it's going to pour out. 
so a fool, he's going to be likened unto that broken vessel, okay, which holds no knowledge. He will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it. And why is it a skillful man when he hears a wise word, he will commend it? He will praise it and add unto it. Why? Because he's learnt himself. He's skillful in the word himself. And that's why when a particular brother, you may be amongst brother, he may add to what you're saying. Get out a precept to add with that precept. But as soon as one of no understanding hear of it, it displeaseth him. Okay? And he casts it behind his back. Why? Because he's a scoffer and Yahweh shall never open up his mind to him. Okay? The talking of a fool is like a burden in the way. Okay, you just want to get out the way, go away. But the grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. Grace, mercy. Okay. They inquire at the mouth of the wise man, the prophet in the congregation, they shall ponder his words in their heart. And that's what a lot of people do. They hear these words and they ponder it. They want to know what we're speaking. Okay. So with this lesson, I really hope this was edifying. And yes, cleave. Okay, cleave unto wisdom. There's always something to learn every single day. Okay, there's always something to learn. Okay, constantly. We should never get to the point where I think, oh, you know, I've, I've got it all now. I need to know everything. No. Every single day. I'm learning new things every single day. You know, I'm wanting to become a better version of ourselves. All right. So with this lesson, I'm going to shut off here. And until the next time. Should I want?